Understanding of electrical wiring diagram is very critical for control engineers, automation engineers, PLC, SCADA, DCS, instrument and electrical engineers. Most of our fresh engineers are newcomers into the respective fields normally have a hard time reading electrical drawing. If you're one of them who struggle reading electrical wiring diagram, this video is for you. We will try to make this explanation easy for you to understand. After watching this video, you would be able to read any electrical wiring diagram. There are main three things of any electrical wiring diagrams. One is the legend page. What is the legend page? You can see right here, this is the page which is called legend page, which contains different samples and their explanation. You can see the motor samples over here. This is for motor. You can also see encoder sample like that. You have different samples. This is the step number one that you should have to go to the legend page, which would tell you what are the different symbols used in this particular drawing. So this is another page which would tell you different abbreviation. What is the respective explanation against these abbreviations? Now let's get into one page of this electrical wiring diagram and understand how to read electrical wiring diagram after having understanding of abbreviations and different samples. This is one of the page. Zoom it bit. You will get in here. This is the three phase supply. Three phase power supply here is connected to the breaker QF152. L1, L2 and L3. This is your breaker. QF abbreviation is for the breaker. 1-5. What is this 1-5? It's very important to understand. 1-5 is the page number. You can see this page have a number 15. So what is this 2? If you can see here, this 2 is the column number. Every page have different columns in that. Starting from 0 here, this page have 0 to 9 different columns. This is column number 2. That's why you break a QF15 page and it is at the spot column number 2. This breaker will provide you short circuit protection and thermal protection. If you zoom it a bit, you will find the rating for this particular breaker. This breaker have a rating between 0.55 to 0.8 ampere. Other end of the breaker have different wires connected to it, which is 1, 5, 10, 1511 and 1512 which is then connected to contactor this km is a contactor and 403 is the number for this contactor and this particular symbol is for the contactor if you want to read the control drawing of this particular contactor this is your address for that this first 40 is the page number 3 is the column number so if you will go to the page number 40 column number 3, you will find the control drawing of this KM403 over there. Don't mix it up for now for this another contactor. Let's get down and understand how this contactor is then connected to motor. Then you can see here other end of this contactor T1, T2 and T3 is actually connected to three wires U152, V152 and W152. This M3 is your terminal strip. Terminal strips have three connection points over here. One, two, three. And if you want to see other points here, you can see here four, five, six. But we will talk further about that for, for now. Don't mix it up. If you go down, you got M152, which is motor specific identifier. How it comes? M for motor, one, five is the page number. 2 is the column number right here. This motor is machine head motor. This motor is 0.37 kilowatt. This is three phase motor and it is grounded. Let's get into other side of it. If you watch our videos regularly, then you might understand this concept easily that if you wanted to reverse the direction of the motor, you have to change two wires. You have to change the connections for that. If you see the middle wire, which is which is right here. This middle wire is connected to the middle wire of this contactor, but the rest of the wires are interchanged. This wire is connected to L3 instead of L1. 
this wire is connected to L1 this wire is connected to L1 instead of L3 over here so you interchange two connection by that way you can reverse the direction of the motor and this is another contactor KM404 if you want to read the control drawing which we would do shortly you have to go to the page number 40.4 the column number 4 over here this would be the column number 4 you will find the control drawing so page number 40 column number 3 this is your page number 40 and then you have to go to the column number 3 so if you go if you go to the column number 3 you will find the control drawing of that particular KM contactor KM403 if you see here one important thing KM403 is interlocked with KM404 by that way you would make sure that motor should not run in forward and reverse direction at the same time so that's why you interlocked it with KM404 and then this is the wire tag A1.1 which is connected to the PLC card channel 13 the second contactor drawing was at the fourth slot of page number 40 if you go down you will find KM404 which is interlocked to KM403 which is this so by that way you would make sure that motor should not run in forward and reverse direction at the same time then this wire have a tag A1.2 which is connected to terminal number 14 of a PLC card. Now let's get back to that page. And if you start if you start reading further, you will find another connection here, which is at the column number 5 of the same 15 number page of that drawing. You got another breaker here, QF15 is the page number, 5 is this column number so QF155 which is your breaker over here you can see the symbol of that this breaker have a rating 5.5 to 8 ampere rest of the things are similar it is attached to KM397 if you want to see the control circuit of the KM397 you have to go to the page number 39 column number 8 then it is connected to terminal strip and you you are already aware about the tags of the wire which we already talked the wire tags are 155 v155 u155 v155 and w155 and then you got motor m155 m is motor 15 is the page number 5 is the column number and this is three phase motor both of these motor are grounded you can see here this is the ground symbol this is also ground this is also ground symbol this is turbine vacuum motor and this motor is three kilowatt so that's all for today i hope you like this video if you like this video consider hitting the like button if you haven't subscribed this youtube channel consider subscribing until next video take care and allah face